of uh, Jenkins on a Linux system. Like we have a couple of options. We can also go ahead for the CentOS box creation. The post is here with the CentOS 7. You can also go ahead and use the 8 also, the last uh, end of the life of the CentOS. We can go ahead uh, with the different Linux. And in this case, I'm going to use uh, parameters what we have in the blog post and to Ubuntu. So that is the overall idea. So that's why I'm coming to this page and copying the parameters attributes what we have defined for the CentOS. Configure, uh, the timeout is important. From then you have to go up to the memory how much you want. So here I'm going to use this uh, on Ubuntu 22.10. You can also go ahead latest version of uh, Ubuntu for the background box. This is always uh, easy to work. Um, here I'm removing the sync folder and changing the IP address to 100 to 200. These are the changes are good to go with the Jenkins and then uh, Vagrant file is ready. I think I need one more end uh, here. So I will add end uh, the blocks which will be matches then the vagrant up is a command that makes the magic on the host machine where we can get the virtual box created the virtual box for the ubuntu 22.10 version once it is downloaded you can reuse as many times as you want um, this box is ready now i am going to connect with the putty putty terminal connection ssh connection we are going to use and ip address i'm giving here and 22 port save that one and uh, once the terminal is ready what we can do that instructions are given in this blog here jenkins installation on ubuntu instructions so first step is a sudo apt update this is going to update the ubuntu package system once this uh, package is uh, systems will be updated it is ready to get the new packages and uh, you can work on different uh, packages to upgrade or add so here we have to go for the java installation the simple command is uh, apt install um, default jre is a command to run the java once this is hit uh, it is going to prompt you for yes and no to proceed how much memory it is occupying it is showing that 365 memory it is going to take 365 mb once this entire uh, uh, packages related to java which matches to the actual package and kernels changes uh, everything is done then um, we are completed completing about the system requirements the first system requirement of uh, software requirement that is java java 11 version uh, we are going to get here you can see the version on the screen itself of course after the installation we can validate this installation using the java hyphen version command so you can see here the output after that we can go ahead proceed further key downloading process jenkins uh, installation requires a key and this is a command which is given in the blog and I'm just moving the command over here. The curl command is succeeded and we'll go for the next command um, that is the key ring. So key is used for key ring uh, for encrypting. So decrypting. So encrypting decrypting uh, is enabled for the Ubuntu related uh, software updates. So Jenkins list also it is going to update and I got an error here uh, when I run this. Um, you can see here the error. The repository related error. So it is having not assigned. So it is not able to sign whatever the key and key ring is used. That was the issue. So let us try to resolve this one. Copy this error and search in Google. I searched and I found that is on the stack overflow. This last uh, answer which is given by Darshan, that was um, right solution, I think. So let us try that. Um, the fix is defined here. And since March 28, 2023, we need to use a different key 
that is uh, Jenkins.io-2023 that is what uh, the change I observed here compared with the previous so if we are going to take this curl command and run it on our system and uh, it will help to proceed on the signing process let us try this and this time I'm using the Jenkins IO.23 uh, key 2023 key is copied and uh, next one is uh, using the binary the Jenkins list which we are going to update um, along with the key what we have downloaded earlier and update that so if you see here sudo apt get update that is going to update Jenkins related uh, lines you can see on the screen once Jenkins repository related update done then we can run the installation of Jenkins apt get install Jenkins if and why will be the smarter way and if you don't give then it will prompt for you and you, when you enter the hyphen yes then good to go and all set i think the installation process successful and jenkins is started so what we can do we can check the status uh, system ctl status jenkins that will gives you jenkins status it is automatically active and enabled to commands automatically done so the um, the status itself shows what has happened to the service Jenkins service so this is clear and let us go and access that service Jenkins service using the IP address and port number 8080 and hit enter once you enter you are going to get the getting started page here you can see the initial admin password file content so where is that file is residing in your Ubuntu mission just copy this and try to go to your uh, terminal and cat that file you can use any editor or any method but the file content is here I'm just checking with the cat command this is the password which is automatically generated I just need to copy this line and try to paste into the browser then I can uh, work with the uh, getting started page so that is what the idea so let me copy this uh, password what I'm seeing here the same thing is available on the status output also uh, let's go to the browser unlock Jenkins administrator password so this is a uh, encoded uh, text we are proceeding and don't save never click on the never install suggested plugin click that one so you can if you know something which need to be installed then go for the selected but uh, first time you are learning then better to go with the existing option the automatically selected default option is a better to install the plugins so it is going to install folders timestamper pipeline git a lot of other uh, plugins it is going to install Jenkins is a Java based server and it works with the plugin based architecture all set then we can create an administrator let's enter the username and password here and confirm password is also uh, we need to provide uh, ensure that the rules we have to follow uh, at least eight characters and it should have one capital letter and some symbol should be added in that that is the most important thing you can give you can you prepare your own choice of um, passwords after entering the password um, definitely google chrome it is going to store and you also remember that password so that you can work further and whenever you want to step into the creation of the new Jenkins jobs that will be helpful and it also asks this optional uh, name full name it is not really required but anyway we can enter here the name of the user and enter the mail id and then we can go ahead for the instance configuration getting started start works and then save and finish this is actually ready Jenkins is ready you can just click on the start then you can see there are three different options it is welcoming with the three options the first one is create job that is what the project or item 
now you can go ahead and do there and next two things are sign setting up of agent and creating the link to your cloud configuring the cloud these are the uh, two features which we can get it from the distributor build section let us go ahead and create a job uh, here we are going to use the new project the name can be anything but don't give spaces when you are going to create the job here i'm going to use the first underscore job that is what i think that is suitable because first time we are creating a jenkins job and there are a lot of other choices here um, the first choice is freestyle project you can go ahead and create the pipeline project multi configuration project if you want to install more abilities to your jenkins you can install the plugins and you can get the maven project gradle project etc etc let's name it if you don't name it and you go for any other thing other uh, link on the page then it is automatically highlights that and uh, red line it is going to talk it is uh, there is nothing in this box so let us enter first underscore job that is a name for your job so first underscore job um, and we are going to select the freestyle project if you see the first one is a default one freestyle project and uh, yeah you can click on the ok and uh, all set to go for creating the first job in the Jenkins so this is how we can install and configure and create the jobs so when you are going to create the job you need to look for the options which are available in the left side general source code management and build triggers build environment build steps and post build action these are the things here um, the general section is having the most important things describing what you are going to do with this particular project so when we work on a real-time production projects um, there are a lot of people who are going to work with the different uh, jobs one job is created by one devops guy another guy can uh, use it or they can modify the next feature changes required then always better to provide description of what is the purpose of this particular job so here uh, we are just uh, making the learning basics so this is the um, first time we are going to create a job it is uh, some message you can add here first job first time job or this is a um, first job uh, that that gives some idea how we can enter the description about the project all right um, let me finish this this is the first job testing job um yep and then we can go ahead and um, select the build steps in the build steps you can select the execute shell and here we can enter any code related to shell or bash script content i'm just want to uh, check whether it is able to display the message what i'm going to write here echo and then within the double quotes whatever i enter in the um, string that string should be displayed that is what uh, idea of uh, making this job i think i'll set to test this job and uh, we can have the two buttons under the uh, save and apply so at this moment we will go with the save after save we can see here um, in the left side different options we got again build now is a option we have so if you want to go back and modify any changes and go to the configuration but um, once the job is ready uh, you can see the name of the job on the top project name and the description whatever you have mentioned that will be displayed here if you want to edit again you go back and edit here in the right side you can see when you click the build now uh, it is going to execute this job the shell line shell command uh, which we are going to execute with the build that will be available so you can just check uh, i have pressed build now two times and you can see the same output in the two builds uh, build history will be at the left side bottom you can see and that is going to gives you the idea what it is uh, output uh, for the project so 
it is successful right green color right mark is showing there and you can see the second job output console output is the most important thing second uh, choice in the left side panel so if you see this is the output what we are going to expect 